will strive, we will strive to be the premier public university of the 21st century. This is who we have in the audience today. 400 people, we get to create where we're headed. Timing couldn't have been better. This is from the governor, Andrew Cuomo, basically says that your New York SUNY 2020 proposal has been accepted and endorsed by the governor. It gives us a stable State University of New York budget at the legislative level called maintenance of effort. And that means that the State University of New York budget will not be reduced for five years. We are going to plan to grow our university during this period of time. We will grow from 15,000 students to 17,000 students over the next four years. We've promised that we will enhance our regional economy. The first way you enhance your regional economy is you hire more people. And we're going to do that. These funds are going to be used to launch projects that will be under the headings of ideas, innovations, and initiatives. And I'm going to call them the three I's. Really what they are are budget request types. An initiative, an initiative is something that you're going to do forever uh, or for a very long time. You're going to hire a staff person and that person you expect to be coming back every year. An innovation is a one-time funding. We need something to happen right now, and we're going to invest in it. But it doesn't have continuing consequences. And an idea is something that, you know, I'm running out of time. It's November I, or, or late October. I can't, I can't really pin this down, whether it's an innovation or, or an initiative. It's an idea. So I'm going to ask for perhaps some continuing funding. Maybe I need a consultant. Maybe I need just a little bit of expense to do some travel. The university has a budget process that was in place when I got here, they brought me this green book. And the green book has about 250 projects, hiring people, doing different things. And I said, that's a great way to come up with some ideas, but, but are they integrated? Are they looking for synergies across boundaries? How many people have been involved in creating these ideas? It was missing the input that we needed from cross-discipline conversations, it missed the opportunity to have big ideas that could request very large sums of money. So we need your help. We're looking for your ideas, your innovations, and your initiatives to make the budget allocations that will start in July of 2013. You're going to be meeting with your teams each week. Your co-chairs have uh, flexibility on how they want to break you up into smaller groups. And we will be uh, working with you to make sure that your needs are met as you go along, whether it's for facilities or technology. The first thing that we need from those teams is a vision of a realistic future of your area in five years and in 20 years. So you can think about the different signs that we have around here. Creative activities and research. Five years, where will we be? What will our accomplishments be? What will we look like? Philanthropy. Five years, where will we be? 20 years, where can we be? And remember where we're headed. We're going to be the premier public university in the 21st century. So these can't be incremental visions. These have to be visions that are aggressive. These have to be visions that you think, we can do this. It's not going to be easy, but we can do this. We can get there. So in summary, academic excellence is achieved by adding outstanding faculty and students in key areas to enhance our research programs and to advance the educational experiences of our students. Operational excellence is achieved by launching initiatives, ideas, and innovations from the roadmap process that supports the work of our faculty and students. And growth. Growth with excellence is a key part of the plan. Our timeline is short. We have to move quickly. These decisions have to be made by early spring semester. 
So I'm going to ask you to work as quickly as you possibly can, but as efficiently as you possibly can, that by mid-October, in about five weeks, we're going to be asking you for your vision for each of your topic in five and in 20 years. I'm really, right now, putting the future of this university into your hands. It's kind of exciting. Now I'm finished. I'm like, boy, I've got a lot of work to do. I've been planning this all summer, and here we are at this kickoff, and now I'm going to say, go get them. Thank you.